Do you want to learn how to put a bow tie inlay inside of a bow tie inlay? Okay, so in order to do this, you already have to have your original bow tie in place. Now for my new bow tie, I am choosing a lighter color wood, um, just to kind of set it off a bit. And now what we're doing is just measuring out um, the size of the new bow tie that we're going to be putting in. Um, I chose to uh, drop it down about a quarter of an inch, that way we still had a, a quarter inch of the walnut showing. So now once you've determined the, the size of the bow tie that you're going to put in, you want to find center. Um, and from that center, you're going to mark in somewhere around uh, a quarter of an inch. You just do not want the bow tie to be too weak in the center. And then once you've uh, decided how far in that you would like to go, um, basically just take the, the center point and bring it out to the outside edge. And basically this is your template for what you're going to cut out. Well, it looks like we're ready to start cutting. In the last video, I uh, hand cut the bow tie with a coping saw. Um, I'm just going to show another way to do this um, a little faster. Um, I'm using a scroll saw, but if you do not have a scroll saw, um, you can cope this project as well. And once we have our insert um, completely coped or cut out, uh, we're now just going to trace um, where it's actually going to go inside of our previous inlay. Now we need to remove some of the center of this inlay. Um, so I'm going to use a, a palm router with a quarter of an inch straight bit just to remove some of the uh, excess material from the center. Um, it will just cut down on the, uh, the chisel work that we'll have to do here in a bit. Now when using your palm router, make sure not to go all the way to the edge. Uh, you want that sharp chisel finish um, around the edges. Again, we're just removing the, the middle part um, just to make it a little bit easier on us. Okay, so now that we have uh, most of the meat of the center out, uh, we get our chisels out. Um, I know I'm not using the proper mallet. Um, I'm sure I'll get busted out for that, but uh, this will work for now. Um, and basically, I'm just making those crisp, sharp edges. Uh, we want our inlay to fit in as snugly as possible and to have a nice straight edge. So now it's time for the glue. We want plenty of glue uh, to hold this in. Um, it's okay if you actually put too much in and a little bit comes out. Once you have uh, your new inlay set, it's time to sand. And here's the finished product with a little poly. That wasn't too bad, was it? Hey, if you got anything from this video at all, make sure to subscribe and follow for more.